And so that's what happened like my second year is when I started learning about the medications, their mechanism of action, started learning about the pathophysiology of the diseases. Um, so learning about things like schizophrenia and depression, um, substance use disorders. Uh, third year learned how we used medications to treat them. And so like each year, subsequent year, I just got more and more interested in it. And then on my fourth year, uh, when I did, I believe I did two or three um, rotations in a, um, in a psychiatric facility and a detox facility as well. Um, I think I did inpatient, outpatient, and then um, a detox facility, and I just loved it. I thought it was great. I loved the drugs prior to going into those rotations, really loved um, understanding the pathophysiology. And then when I started working with the patients, that's really where I was like, it all kind of came together. And I was like, this is really cool, really interesting. And, you know, the patients have these... I mean, these, these stories that to me are very interesting stories and certainly it's a vulnerable patient population um, and so that kind of feeds into it as well. But, uh, but yeah, I don't think in the 12, probably the 14 years now that I've been um, out of school and working in psychiatry um, and, and in addiction in that area that I've ever said like, I don't like this or like I made the wrong decision. I think every day I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like there's some cool stuff that goes on and at Duke at the hospital, being on a medicine psychiatry service, we see stuff that like I haven't seen in a long time or haven't seen ever. Or uh, it's like the 1% of stuff that you read about with an adverse reaction with a medication or you know, 1% of 1% of 1% of something that you see a patient present with. And it's really, I mean, it's really pretty interesting stuff. So, um, so. Thanks for watching this short clip from our Pharmacy IR podcast. To watch the full interview, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. And to make sure you don't miss anything, sign up for notifications on our Facebook page and like and subscribe anywhere that this podcast is offered.